<laughs> so Irv Gotti, man, Irv Gotti's now in his 50s, hip hop OG, you know, back in his heyday in the 90s and 2000s with Murder Inc. Uh, he, you know, often, well, not often, but every time I see Irv Gotti on any kind of show or podcast that he's on, women end up coming up in some capacity. <laughs> uh, and this is no different. This is actually the second time that Irv Gotti has appeared on Drink Champs. And in this particular instance, Irv Gotti was talking about the struggles that he experiences trying to find a woman or a love or however you want to describe what it is that he is looking for. But he's saying that at this age, you know, I think what he's getting at is he desires to be younger women, but younger women are tricky because they're only after one thing. And he struggles with that because he doesn't want to do that. He wants to find something genuine. Uh, even though he's 53 and these women are in some cases 20, 30 years younger than him, um, that, you know, he doesn't want that to stop him. He wants to keep it moving with what he is seeking, but he is finding it difficult because younger women are always checking for something specific. So uh, we will play this. We'll hear what God he has to say, and then we'll talk about what God he has to say. would love to have one with me 100 mm. percent i just don't think it's out there for me 26 year old dominican gorgeous you out I'm, here with the okay least, least <laughs> 25 000. she's a real one let's make some noise <laughs> 25 000, i was like where does she get off asking me for 25,000? And then in the back of my head, I'm like, this is the tip of the iceberg. Mm, if she's my girl, mm. that she gonna ask, I need a hundred. Mm, her mess. Get all of the <laughs> family to have some bad come around and just start siphoning it out. That's never happening, y'all. <laughs> So that's why I just, I don't think it's in the cards for me. Mm. I don't know if I could find someone who I'm going to be attracted to that's like a nice, good person. Right. And, you so you say you got your guard up all the time? You have to. Okay. Back to school savings are red. Oh, boy. Oh, it's Mr. amazing Earth. to see. Earth. Yeah. No, Nori and Cameron. I have the best hip hop podcast, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Nor Nori with Drink Champs and then Cameron, what it is, what it is. Those two guys are entertaining as hell. They are, uh, to me, far more engaging than people like Joe Budden. Oh, um, uh, but... come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the conversation <laughs> for another video. <laughs> <laughs> the conversation for another video, but yeah. So, what did you think about what Gotti had to say, man? He, he's basically saying he's basically saying that he doesn't even know if he'll be able to find a relationship because women are always checking for his pockets. But he also coded some of his language, in my opinion. But I'll, mm -hmm. I'll let you go ahead and, and kick that off. Well, well, here's the thing. So we we've talked about this before, you know, like with the Drake topics and stuff like that. So he falls into that bucket of two well known and too well known to have a bag. So if you're walking around as Irv Gotti, everybody knows you got a bag. And if they don't know who you are because they are in their 20s, as he's talking about these 20 year old, you know, Boricuas. <laughs> and so he's sitting around here talking about that. So they may not know who he is, but they're gonna find out who he is. And as soon as they find out who he is, they are gonna want that money. So he found himself in a boat where if he didn't have it in the beginning, uh, he shouldn't expect this towards the end. And so uh, I would tell him that in this world that he lives in, that he would have to find a new form of love. But this whole thing that she down for you 100 percent and all that other stuff, uh, that takes a lot for a woman to to get into that loyalty bag. They're not going they're not going to off rip you know, be loyal to somebody, especially this later in life. So if y'all were young and y'all was coming up, then there's like a loyalty to see you want to win because they see you saw you grow up. But when you are old ass man, you know, ab about to hit uh, senior citizen discounts, uh, you know, they're not going to want to get into that because quite frankly, how long are you going to be around for this? 
So you want a 20, nah, you want a 20 year old to invest in you like that, bro. It's not really feasible. So that he has to find a new way of getting that affection that he wants, you know, but uh, it's sad. It's sad when, you know, that I think that's the gift and a curse that comes with, you know, being on famous and, you know, well-known uh, you're not going to have the stuff that, you know, air quote, normal people have because uh, you know, everybody know what you have. That's why you don't let everybody come to your house. And because you you let any old body come to your house, you don't know who all these people are, and not everybody has the same agenda. And then you know, push come to shove, something wonky happened in your house. But who, where, where was it? Well, you let all these people up in your house. They, you let these people see what you have. Now they think you got it. So, but the thing is, that's for private, regular people. But for Irv Gotti, everybody know what he got up in his house. So you can't trust nobody that come up trying to say that, hey, I want to be your friend. Very sad stuff. But, um, you know, hopefully he cries in his Ferrari. So what about <laughs> you, man? How do you feel about this situation? Uh, how do you feel about Mr. Irv Gotti and his uh, quest for love? I do. I, I do find this sad. Uh, and look, I got news for Gotti. A 26 year old bo ba Boricua baddie. <laughs> can choose you who's in his 50s with a bag or a guy who's in his 20s with a bag. Right. You're already at a disadvantage. You're already at a position of disadvantage. They have the pick of the litter. Um, it just is what it is. This is, but the good news with that is as a man, you know, age isn't something that inhibits a man's viability right. when it comes to this kind of thing as much as a woman right so that's where that's where he does have an advantage but overall i'll just say i hear what he's saying and i i feel him and i do think that it's a sad state of affairs because his point does you know warrant merit however this reminds me of this the the topic that we did months and months ago where the, there were there are these two black guys they were on a video and they were talking about how they decided to purposefully date interracially because they found it difficult to date black women because they found that black women did thug maxing. Uh, that, was the term, that was the term that they used, thug maxing. Yeah. Basically saying black women only want one kind of black guy. You got to look this way, talk like this, dress like this act kind of like a thug hood type guy because those are the kinds of men that black women go for and you know my retort to what they were saying was i hear what you're saying bro but at the same time have you truly diversified the way in which you're trying to meet black women because i can assure you that there are attractive good looking in shape black women who don't necessarily go for that but if where you're trying to find black women is in places like clubs, bars, lounges, you know, Essence Jazz Fest, NBA All-Star Week, Super Bowl weekend, you're going to run into the scallywags and skeezers. Like you're and, and it is going to reinforce your belief that all black women are looking for the same thing when you kind of you, you kind of have to diversify your bonds if you really do care about meeting attractive black women. Now, I'm someone who says, hey, bro, if you want to get out there and diversify, go ahead and diversify. I'm not trying to stop nobody from doing that. But you speaking in this manner tells me that this is something that you care about. Mm -hmm. So if it's something that you care about, have you truly exhausted all of your options or have you been doing the same thing you've been doing your whole life and getting the same results? Right. That's what's that's insanity. Mm -hmm. You're doing the same thing repeatedly, but trying to get a different result. That's the literal definition of insanity. So I was saying, hey, bro, you want to meet attractive black women who might not be into that thug max and shit? Join a professional networking organization. Um, if you went to if you went to college, join the local chapter of your school alumni association. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get a part time job where you work in a place where there are a lot of employees, like in the service industry, for example. These things may sound silly. But they put you physically in a position in which you increase or maximize your opportunity to really know whether all the black women in the world are thug maxing or not. Now, why do I bring that up when I when I look at this video about Gotti? Mm. 
It's like, Gotti, I hear what you're saying, bro, but are you really diversifying yourself enough? You got enough money to me that you could exhaust every resource available to you to meet good looking, attractive women who might not come for your pockets first quarter the way you're describing that these other chicks exactly, do. Exactly, exactly. But if you sitting up there trying to DM Instagram models. Exactly. <laughs> if you sitting up there trying to DM OnlyFans chicks, if you try to holler at the girl who was serving y'all bottles at the club the other night, you know what I'm saying? Like if you at Live or at the strip club and you trying to holler at the bartender or the bottle service girl or the shot girl, yeah, you're going to get those results, bro. And then it's going to create this myopic tendency within you to perceive all of these attractive women as only wanting to come for your pockets. Now, again, I'm not I'm not trying to discredit his experience. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like to be a top 10 percenter. I'll take his word for it. However, I do think that I am in a reasonable enough position to ask, do you exhaust all of your options? Because if you're doing the same thing that your hip hop brethren do, which is hollering at the Instagram models and the OnlyFans chicks and the porn chicks and all of this other stuff, fitness models, social media influencers, socialites, women who work in clubs, bars and lounges. Yes, those are the results you're going to get. Yep. Period. Every and, time. And, I don't care, and I don't care what anybody says. You can be rich as shit. You can be rich I don't care. Okay, you can be rich if you don't exclusively holler at women in those contexts. There's a decent chance that you're going to get a bit of a different result. Mm -hmm. Period. So that would be the only contention that I have to what he has to say. Otherwise, I hear him and I get it. It's tough being a rich man out there. You don't know whether a woman actually is there for you or is there because of what you can do for her. A lot of these women do look to try and upgrade their lifestyle, so on and so forth. Yes, sir. That's true. But in the grand scheme of things, are you really diversifying your search? And if in your heart of hearts you can say, nah, I'm not really doing that. I'm a hip hop dude. I'm a hip hop, you know, person. I'm just out here doing the hip hop thing. Then I'm going to have to look at you and Irv and say, nah, bro, you're not doing enough. And that's why you get the bad results you get. Yep. Uh, bro, I was going to say that because it feels like that's what he, because that was an oddly specific demographic he just named. Right. It sounds like you're just filtering stuff out and seeing where the Dominicans at. <laughs> That's not how this works, bro. Well, I got, I, I, I mean, I'm me. See, this, this is his problem. Yes. He's yes. using his cachet to get these women in the first place, and he's mad that they just want him for his cachet. Right. <laughs> and I was going, I was going to say like, you know, because I had. You know, I had to come up with like an analogy or a way to look at my dating habits when I was, you know, just crashing out. I meet a girl here, I meet a girl there, and it's just not working. It's not working. It's not working. <clears throat> you know, shout out to any of my exes out there. <laughs> but some of, I mean, some of that stuff was like, what's going on out here? Like, uh, this is terrible. But I realized where I was fishing at. I wasn't fishing in school. I wasn't fishing in college. That's crazy. I wasn't fishing in college classrooms. Oh, how goofy was I? I was I was fishing college students at the club. I was like, well, you know, eh. <laughs> so you're going to get those club girls, you know, drinking their trauma away, twerking on their friends and all this other stuff. And, you know, you, you think this is a do you think this is a party, bro? granted i wasn't trying to settle down i'm just trying to you know live my life do my thing but those weren't ideal situations you can get into a relationship with a girl and it don't have to be so traumatic you know what i'm saying and these kids nowadays call it toxic <laughs> yeah so it don't have to be that way <clears throat> but it was like where are you fishing at bro you know are, are these freshwater fish or salt water and so uh, I had to realize that I needed to I needed to change where I got my, you know, prey. So his whole thing is he wants to go on, like you said, social media devices, applications and start sending out applications. So, of course, she's going to send you a 25 rack bill. 
bro, that's that's the going rate. <laughs> he was talking about the audacity for her to ask. No, 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 no. It was the audacity for you to think it wasn't going to be that. Yep. Boy, you look like a clown. How you 53? And I know this. Right. What world do you live in, Mr. Gotti? So I don't I don't understand why he's so confused. But I think that I think that he has, like you said, uh, that whole hip hop mentality of I'm going to just surf the interwebs <clears throat> and then find me a baddie. All right. Well, you're going to have to pay for it. So just look at all of those girls, all of those thumbnails to each one of her little videos or whatever she's got popping on her page. Just look at that as individual price tags. Mm -hmm. And when you got all these girls that you're following and DMing, instead of seeing her name next to that avatar, look at the price tag like a sticker at a dealership. Don't get mad that this one asks for 25 racks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, bro. You know, and, and no warranty on that either. No cash back guarantees. <laughs> non-refundable non-refundable <laughs> and non-negotiable <laughs> so mr Gotti, i think you need to change where you fish sir maybe then you can find yourself a woman who's been through stuff herself in life and looking for the same type of love you're looking for and looking to be loyal to a good man but i'm telling yeah. you right now she's not popping her ass on ig she's so, not so yeah. have at it mr Gotti, because you're looking kind of simpish with yeah. with all of these crying episodes on drink champs. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what, what do car dealerships do when there is a car that's in demand and you've had multiple people come to inquire about that car? They raise the price on it. Thank you. Uh, it's 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 in demand. So the person who ends up getting that car is going to be the person who spent the most money for it. Yep. OK. And these women who operate in these spaces are the same. They leverage the communication opportunities from men like Gotti in order to up their price tag. And the more men they got hollering at them, the higher the price gets. Yep. So if you are trying to meet women in that way, that's the result you're going to get. I got no sympathy for you, bro. Uh, you got to diversify your search, because if you're doing the hip hop thing and you're trying to holler at all of these strippers sex workers and all of this other stuff what do you expect that's that's on you that's why i just i hear these guys talking like this and it's just like get out of here and you know drake <laughs> does the same thing mm -hmm. uh, but because you know but and that's why i said like drake romanticizes about it because he ain't about that life he right. talks about wanting to meet a loyal wo woman in his music but he doesn't want that he wants to slur it up so, like, you know, Gotti is like, bro, do you really want that? Or are you just trying to just slow it up and make it seem like you're a nice guy? Because, like, no one's going to think you're not a nice guy if you want to slow it up. People are going to get it because of the lifestyle that you come from and mm -hmm. probably still live. So just be honest with yourself. If you're really trying to do this, then do it because it's possible. It's attainable. Just like with Drake, it's attainable. But like Drake, I suspect he ain't really want that. He ain't really, he's not really with that. I don't think mm -hmm. so because mm -hmm. these guys, they keep doing the same thing over and over again. And then they talk about the quality of the women that they meet. Okay, well, how about you do things in the daytime, you know, on terrestrial terrain and, and, and tell and get back to me with the results that you get after you've done that? You know, then we could talk. Mm -hmm. Sad. It's, it's sad all the way around. As I mentioned earlier, the whole the whole dynamic of being known, it's a wild thing. And even if you try to do it hand to hand, you still might get that kind of treatment. So that's the crazy part. But for him to give such an oddly specific search, it's like he hit advance and then mm -hmm. put a search in. So it's yeah. like, bro, you, you're being too specific with this. I don't think it works that way. If you want that 20 year old Dominican, how about you go to Dominican Republic or somewhere in the Bronx? And then try to find and try to find your situation like that, but stop scrolling on these apps because that's going to lead you to disappointment and catfishing. <laughs> Correct. Correct. And 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 not one who has you know four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand followers on Instagram because they're all the same. Exactly. They're all the same. Mm -hmm. Do better, Gotti. Do better. Unbelievable. <laughs>